Hi, my name is Yasu from Japan and I'm making this video to share my thoughts about Japan and then hoping to get some new perspectives from you guys so that I can learn more. And then also, I'm doing this to improve my English, trying to get my English ability back because my English is actually getting worse compared to the time that I lived in the US or before COVID-19 because I used English more often than how I use it right now and when I look at myself speaking English it just makes me feel so sad <laughs> anyway so today I want to talk about population and specifically population declining in decline in Japan so according to data the Japan will lose 14.7 million population of people how do we say population of people? But let's say 14.7 million uh, people in the next 20 years here. And then that number looks scary and the situation seems to be inevitable. But why? So every five years, the Japanese government conducts the national census is to measure what really goes on in Japan and what they have found out is that the population in 2020 was 125.7 million people and maybe that doesn't sound so bad so let's look at this why so population in Japan picked out leveled out around 2010 already so 10 years ago that was the peak here the population was 128 million people and right now 125 million people so we have lost 3 million people already in that last 10 years and then according to the predictions in the next 20 years another 14 million people will be lost so it's crazy more than 10 percent of the current population will be gone so has the government done anything in the last 10 years to improve the situations well not really at least according to the data so to come up with predictions there are three main things that we need to know first one is the current number of the population which is 125 million people and we, the second thing is that we need to know on average how many people will die uh, every year and then the third one and then the most important thing which is how many new babies the baby is new yeah how many babies would be born every year and basically you get predictions so if anything has done to improve the situations by the government then the birthright should reflect on the result or any efforts but unfortunately the birthright in Japan has been dropping over the in the last 46 years and it's still dropping so in 2019 birth rate was 1.36 per woman according to the the ministry of the health and the welfare and then um, yeah health labor welfare i think that's how it's called so nothing has been done so we need to fix the ha no matter what and on top of my head what i'm thinking is that why don't we or the Japanese government give parent or parents 20 million Japanese and per babies give them more support so that they feel incentivized they feel how it, do I say like they feel incentivized to make more babies get more money so that they don't have to worry about the financial situations and then they can really focus on build up the family take care of their child and if which is going to be good for the country anyway I think we need to take that kind of drastic measurement otherwise birth rate wouldn't increase at all but if you know any other ideas 
I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. So thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next video hopefully. じゃあね。